Welcome to another lecture guys. In this lecture we are going to learn about importing audio in your Unity project. To do that right click in your assets panel and click on import new asset. Navigate where your audio file is being placed, select it and import it. Now you will notice that Unity has changed the icon of our audio file to some WAV format. And you will also notice that this wave format is also depicting what the actual wave format of our sound is. Now in our inspector panel we have got a bunch of different settings. Let's go through them one by one. First of all we have a force to mono checkbox. So if we click on it, it will force our audio to be considered as mono. If we check load in background checkbox it will load our audio in background whenever our audio is being used inside any app then we have an ambisonic checkbox then we have platform specific settings for our audio file let's go through these settings one by one first of all we have load type it has been set to decompress on load we also have a compressed in memory and we also have a streaming load type. Then we have preload audio data and it is been set to true. Then we have a compression format. We have three different compression formats, PCM, Verboise, ADPCM. Then we have a quality slider. It's been set to 100. We can decrease our quality to any extent we want and we can change it to 100 to have the maximum quality. Then we have a sample rate setting which has three different options. First one is preserve sample rate, then we have optimized sample rate, then we have override sample rate. Then if we want to change these settings for any specific platform, we can override them over here by going to its specific tab and clicking on this little checkbox over here and change the settings for this specific platform and at the end of our all settings we can we click on apply to save all the changes or revert if we want them to be default then we have a preview panel it shows the waveform of our audio file we have an autoplay over here we have a loop on button over here and we have a play button over here as well if we click on this it will automatically play this audio for us